may be familiar with Zan's diamond, the shape that switches between quarter, same time, and split time in opposites. And of course, all of its different permutations where you take it from a split opposites place, or maybe where you take it from a same time, same direction place, what have you, right? Um, Here's uh, a new geometric concept for you. I'm going to call this Charlie's octahedron. Uh, Charlie was the first person to show me this, and it's really kind of an exercise just to um, teach you some elements of plane shifting, but it also kind of looks cool as you trace it out. The idea here is that you take the diamond that we normally play with, and Zan's diamond, of course, being that, except that you play with the traverses that go through the middle, and you take this into three dimensions. So, instead of taking these straight lines back and forth, I'm actually going to take a diamond that points towards the audience and away from the audience as well. So, if I were to try and trace out a line that goes through each vertice of this, uh, of this polygon, um, three-dimensional polygon, of course, uh, without retracing my lines, it would look something like this, from down to forward, to side, to up, to back, to side, to down. I've hit every vertice and I haven't gone through any of them twice. Once again, it's from down to forward, to side, to up, to back, to side, to down. Right? You do this as a plane shift and it comes out looking like this. From down to forward, to side, up, back, side, down. Forward, side, up, back, side, down, right? Um, this does indeed mean that you are plane shifting 90 degrees every time you hit one of these vertices, or that is every time you do a stall. Um, so if you do this with two poi, you can of course take it from a place where it is same time, same direction, like so. You could take it from a place where it's split time, same direction. Or you could take it from a place, and this is Charlie, Charlie's preferred method, where it is displaced quarter time. So that means that as you're tracing through each vertice of, um, of, of your octahedron, um, rather than having your hands at opposite ends of it, one hand is chasing the other one, just a vertice behind it. A vertex, sorry, that should be singular. Um, it's totally fucked up and it takes a lot of work to clean up. Mine is not terribly clean, but um, what I got looks like this. Charlie's, of course, is much cleaner. You can take a look at the performance video that he uh, he did in New York a few months ago that I posted for some performing examples of him doing this. Um, once again, good. Lord, it's a brain buster. Yeah, have fun playing with that one. <laughs> I know I have. Um, thank you all for watching, and Charlie, thank you for the uh, never-ending inspiration. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a good week. We'll see you soon. Peace.